Okay, hi there guys. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how you can get the ID for a table uh, in Microsoft Access. First I'm going to demonstrate what the problem is. So here what we have, we have master detail tables. We have the people table containing the ID and person name. The ID is auto-generated column and we have the phone table, phones table. And this one contains the ID2, which is auto-generated, the ID, which is the phone key, and uh, these values. Okay, um, so maybe I should make this goes to 1, this go to 2, and so on. Okay, this means I can, yeah. So let me remove Adam from here, please record, yeah. Oh, cannot be deleted. Maybe I need to save first, and next I'm going to delete, record, yep. Uh, there's something related to 23 for some reason, I guess. Okay. Wait, and now I can delete him. Delete. Yep. Okay. So that's it. So we have these tables, and now I can add a data set here. I can say next. It's gonna be this table. Yes. Um, I want both tables. <coughs> okay. So now, um, maybe I should include the database for. Okay. Maybe add um. Sorry. Um, database. I need to create a new connection here. Change access. Okay, browse. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to include the database in the project so that uh, you guys later will be able to test this out yourselves. Okay, so here we have the people and phones table. I'm gonna hit finish. And there we go. So, first thing I'm gonna drag and drop people table. There we go, and uh, you already know that there is nothing new to it. And now I'm gonna open this and drag and drop the phones table. This is gonna be the details. Okay, so there we go. And now if we run this, okay, so we have these. Uh, I can change the record and you can see the information. Now I can, for example, add something over here and put something here. Now, uh, so. Uh, so um, if I don't do anything, if I just go back here, now I want to save, that is no problem, but if I try to enter something like that and try to save, I'm gonna get an error. Um, the error is explained as follows, so let me show you here, wait a minute, so I'm gonna add this person, and I'm gonna add the, this phone. So this person has the ID minus one. This is not a real ID because the row hasn't been inserted to the database yet and the database is the one responsible for generating the ID. So minus one does not exist yet. Okay. Uh, anyway, so when we enter the phone, you can see that uh, VB used the ID minus one. What happens when you press save is the following. First, uh, the master record is being inserted. And what this means, the ID here is going to go away and be replaced with another value, let's say 50 or 500, whatever that is. VB cannot detect what that value is, and this value over here will stay minus 1. So, when VB tries to insert the second record, uh, the referential integrity will be violated, and this is why you are going to get the error. So, uh, why do you... Uh, well, how do you get the ID? Well, Access does not provide very easy way to get the ID and this is one of its uh, limitations. Uh, if you are using uh, SQL Server, you have no problem with that. It's very easy. Uh, the wizard creates this for you right away. <coughs> anyway, um, you still have a way to do it actually in Access. So let me show you how to do that. We need to get the ID from the database and use that to update our buffer so that we no, do not get the error. Okay, so to do that, go to the data set over here and you need to start with the master table. So this is our master table. We are going to right click it and uh, uh, first you need to click on the adapter itself, not the people. Click on the adapter, right click here and then select the view code. And now, um, if you open this list, you'll find that there's an adapter, underscore adapter. This is, this is uh, part of the, uh, of, the, uh, of the people table adapter, and you want to go to the row updated table. 
So what this means is that this, this part of code will get executed when a row is updated or being inserted into the database. This is what it means. So now, um, uh, let me see. So first thing you want to do, I'm sorry. Uh, we want to get uh, the the uh, old ID. Okay, I'm gonna show you why in, in a minute. So get the old ID of the row. Okay, obviously this is a people row because this is a people table da uh, adapter. So here dimension old ID as long equals now check this parameter. This is e uh, as uh, oladb update uh, oladb row update uh, arguments. Okay. So here, what's gonna happen is gonna you're gonna write e dot row. So we're getting the row dot item of, and uh, this is gonna be id. So we got the old id. Next, access the db and get the new. Uh, or the auto generated ID. So, how do you do that? We need a number of things here. So, first thing to generate is this dimension um, uh, cmd as a new command. Oh, wait a minute, it's gonna be oladb.oladb command. There you go. So, you need to set a few things. So, um, Let's say connection equal me dot underscore connection. This is part of the adapter. You need to use the same connection. You need to use the same transaction. Um, this is gonna be the transaction and cmd dot um, command text equals select at at identity. Now this is a keyword in access that allows you to get the last generated ID. Okay. And then uh, dimension uh, dbid as long equals cmd dot execute scalar. So this is gonna execute the command and get you the ID. Now the main problem uh, or part of the problem was solved now. Let's now update our row. So here, update the row. So here we have. Uh, E dot row dot item of ID let's say equals what db ID there we go right so let's stop here and test if this works so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna run this here <coughs> so this is Michael I'm gonna say ABC someone's called ABC for some reason I'm gonna save that you can see minus one is replaced with 25 because now uh, your VB program access the database, retrieve the new ID, and use that. So I'm gonna put a few values here. Let's say something like that, and I'm gonna save. You can see they all got updated from the value in the database. But there's still some issue. If you try to add something like that right away, and now you want to save, you're still getting the error. So we got the ID, but what's the problem? Well, the problem is also the same. We haven't solved it exactly. So we updated what? We updated the master table, but we did not update the child table. So this is where we have to do some extra work. So here, get the child table. So first, it's gonna be the mission. We need the master table. Um, as this is gonna be what? It's gonna be test data set dot uh, people data table. This is the people data. Now what the uh, get the master. This should be the master. I'm sorry. This is gonna be e dot row dot table. So we are gonna go to the row, and from that we're gonna get the table. Okay. Um, next, we need to get the child. Get the child. Child table. So here it's gonna be something like this: dimension child table as test data set dot um this should be what this is gonna be phones table okay so now we are gonna get the phones table now this is a little bit tricky because how do you get that equal master table i've noticed there's a relation i think this relation relation child relations yep there we go 
and this one is actually a collection so let's see what do we have one two and three so you can provide the name um, the name of this relation okay so what's the name here let me go to the data set I think I can get it here so people phones control C copy the name okay so uh, what I did, let me repeat that slowly, I double click the relationship, I got its name, I copied the name, and now I'm going to go to my code. So I'm going to get this relation dot child table. Okay, so now I got the, the table. There we go. <coughs> the last thing is to, up <coughs> is to update the rows. Update the child rows. Okay, so now um, for wait a minute, for each R as um, test data set dot, you you are gonna work with a phones row, okay? In a child table dot rows. Okay, what this means? It's like for i equals zero to child table dot rows dot count uh, minus one do the following r equal child table dot rows of i this is what it means you just make it a little bit shorter so now you must make sure that you're only updating the id for the rows uh, that are related to this key so if r dot id equals old id then change it to uh, r dot id equal db id so this is gonna update it. I think that's all. Save that, run the code, and let's see how, how it goes. A, 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 this one, this one, and I'm gonna say save. So check this out, this 25 and 25 got updated here. Um, this one as well, something over here, and save 26. What happens if I try? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. So here, I think I, I did something that caused an error. Yep, I did something that caused an error. So let me sh show you, where's that? Where's the view? View code. Okay, so one of the things that I made, uh, well, although it works, it doesn't work perfectly because the problem is I, I use the raw updated and raw updated could work in many different cases so here for example um, I'm gonna update Smith the keys are not changed so when I save it's gonna try to do the same here so we need to make sure that's only happening when uh, when um, trying to insert new values simplest method here is this if all the ID is smaller or equal to zero, then this is the simpler thing to do. Okay, and put here an end if. And if. There we go. Now this one's fixed. Save that. Run the code. There we go. So now, save that. No problem. Okay, now put something here, put something here, and save that. It's working perfectly fine. Okay. Um, yeah. So now you might be asking, okay, the other table <coughs> does not get updated as well. What should I do? Well, the same goes for the other table. So here, um, we're gonna copy part of this code. So just copy this. Let's go back here. This is the phones. Uh, table adapter right to click and uh, where's that the view code this is the view code there we go and then we will go to underscore adapter under table phones table go to its adapter go to row updated and control v and uh, and if, and if. where's the old id this is an, the old id now make sure here to use the correct naming because the id for the second table is id2 so this should be id2 this should be id2 right so yeah id2 this is gonna be db id and that's it okay 
So let's make sure that this one is working. So save this here, right? And uh, put this something here, put something here, and save. And uh, you can see this is 12 and this is 25. So, um, yeah. Anyway, um, I've read that the identity, this identity feature, gives you the last value for any auto generated key. So, if you are having some kind of regardless of the transaction, I guess. So anyway, if you have concurrent users, you might have some kind of problem. This is not a, per a perfect way to do it, but it might work, I guess. Anyway, uh, it will be better if you try to generate the values yourself and insert them yourself. Okay, it's much safer, much better. Um, yeah. So I guess that will be all regarding how to uh, solve the master details of problem with Microsoft Access and how to get the ID from the database. Um, if you if you want to download the source code, the source code is available on the website. Uh, if you have questions, send them to notes at mka.com. Um, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.